and sometimes they yeah. do so in a way that doesn't work. What makes the difference about whether or not people can win against this? Well, the key is to name it while it's happening, and you know that's why I that's why I wrote this history, this uh, history of how the right has won around the world by exploiting these moments of crisis because this has been their signature tactic, mm -hmm. but we have not been on to them. If the whole point of using a crisis, of using a shock, is that in those moments of crisis, we're disoriented. Yeah, sure. and, and, we're, and But if, if we name it while it's happening, as people have been doing in Wisconsin, then, then, then the tactic doesn't work. But in addition to that, you also have to say, you also have to have your own story about what is really causing the, the crisis. And also, if you do have a budget deficit, and there are many states that genuinely are facing budget crisis because, because of a crisis that was created on Wall Street right. that was moved to Main Street. I mean, th this, this crisis, we, as we know, was deepened um, by the, 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 the policy decisions that were made, the decision to bail out the banks instead of bailing out homeowners, instead of bailing out workers. And what that means is that your tax base collapses. So your tax base collapsed, and now we have to pay for the crisis again. First we paid with it with, it, with a bailout, and now people are paying with it with budget cuts. So I think the really key part of the resistance is that people are saying, you know what, if you, if you really need some money, why don't you go where the money is? Why don't you go to the people who have all the money? Yeah. And and putting their own proposals on the table, whether that means Bank of America for not paying their taxes, um, or whether that means defense contractors, or whether that means oil and gas companies and their subsidies. I mean, people are putting all kinds of proposals on the table, and that is also deflating the strategy of we have no choice, because of course there are all kinds of choices. And what this fight is really about is not unions versus taxpayers, as we've been told. It's a fight about who's going to pay for the crisis that was created by the wealthiest elite in this country. Uh, is it going to be regular working people, or is it going to be the people who created the crisis? And that's the debate we need to have. Understanding it and explaining it is, I mean, it's stupid to say that's half the battle, but in this case, I think it really is. Yeah. Uh, and you are helping. Naomi Klein, thank you so much. It's really nice to see you again. Thanks for coming in. So do you remember when uh, former Senator Alan Simpson uh, said the green weenie thing? And we did like a 10-minute segment on the show trying to figure out what he meant. We involved the research librarians at West Point and everything. Um, well, Senator Simpson has just topped the green weenie thing, which might be the first illegal thing I've ever said on television. Uh, the green weenie thing has been one up, uh, And this time we need the help not of the West Point research librarian staff. We need the help of you, gentle viewer. We need your help next.